I do feel like that there's been a type of renaissance on YouTube. Either that, or I've reverted back to my 18 year old self. Because I've noticed something that's just been popping up in my recommended so much more, and yes, I've been clicking on it a lot more frequently than I have been over the last five years. Pranks. I think they're having a comeback. Now, obviously this is just my experience of YouTube and what's being recommended to me for some random reason over the past year. But over the last year, I've watched more prank videos than I have over the last five put together. I think pranks had this time where they sort of went a bit too ridiculous, they went a bit too crazy and the people doing them were a bit nutty in a bad way. Now I feel maybe pranks have evolved and become a bit more family friendly en masse and then there are also those which are very extreme. Now, obviously, the extreme ones, the guys like Nelk, who I think are bloody hilarious. I mean, I'm literally popped back to 18, 19 year old self. It's actually crazy watching it. I mean, I don't, I don't drink anymore, so that side of me is uh, is dead, dead and dead and done. But just they're just funny lads. They just do what they want, full send and all that jazz. I think, hey, if if, if they want to make a video, you know, I Steve will do it. He's eating a lot of food. I I'll have a eating comp. No, I won't. He would eat eat the shit out. I was going to say to eat the shit out of me, but he might actually do that. He's a bit of a nutter. He's a bit fucking crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you want to make a video with me? Hey, I'll do it, guys. I'll do it. I'll fly out. I'll make a collab with you. All right. But yeah, I've noticed that prank channels overall have just had a huge comeback. And obviously, those are the more um, risque type of channels, stuff like Nelk. But then there's also Daily Dropout, which just popped up over the last year, 18 months. And I've probably watched them for the last 10 months or so, pretty much all the time. The escalator pranks, the stuff in libraries, it's the good old stuff. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's, it's the, the word I'm looking for. It's the wholesome pranks, that's it. Even though you're talking about someone shitting on your foot, you know, I mean. <laughs> also, you guys, Daily Dropout, I, I'll happily, happily take a flight out if I can do a collab with, with you guys. I mean, you're hilarious, absolutely. It's so ridiculous. The, the, the improv and ad-lib is, is absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it so much. I'm surprised someone like Psych IRL just dropping all these names now, hasn't made a video on how, on how prank channels have come back in a very, very strong way. They were completely dead and done. They, they were not making any type of resurgence. But somehow they've made, they've made themselves back into the, the mainstream. And I don't know if YouTube is particularly happy about it because on their last terms and services I read and the way that they're they're looking at pranks now, they scrutinize them a bit more. And I think it's because they've become more popular again and they don't want it to become a situation where it was three or four years ago, five years ago, where people were really doing stupid shit on YouTube and people still do all the time. But especially big prank channels, they went a bit too far. And I think that's why people probably stopped watching them as much. But now when it's... I think relatively healthy space with pranks on YouTube where there are people, if you want really, really funny adult humor, then there are pranks for that and there are people for that. For that. And if you want family friendly hu humor, well, I guess Daily Dropout isn't really family friendly. I mean, I show it to like my cousins and stuff sometimes if it's that funny. So maybe it is, I, you know, it's stuff you can share about, whereas Nelk, I don't think is as much of that. But happily, you know, I mean, as I said, Love to do, love to do a prank with either of you. Uh, I, I do actually have a lot of pranks written down because when I started making YouTube videos, it was like 2015 and pranks sort of died in 2015. 2014, 15 is when they died. So I wrote down a shit ton of ideas from like maybe 18 to 20 for these random prank ideas. I don't know if I still have the book somewhere, but there was solidly like 40, 50 pranks there. If I can find the book, I mean, and if you want them, I guess I'll just give them to you because I thought some of them were quite funny. I won't say any of them because I can't honestly remember. Can I even remember one of them? I don't know. I was young, dumb. That's basically how it goes. You're not young and smart. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wrote so many ideas down for when I was considering starting making a channel. And then I did and it sort of went down the, the more nerd, nerd route with it. You know, comic books, TV, film because it's sort of who I am. But also that type of stuff, you know, I'm, I'm the type of guy who doesn't really give a shit in general. Like I just, I just dance down the street. People look at me funny. I don't really care. 
I just continue moving on up and that's just how I do it. But yeah, it is interesting to see a, a genre on YouTube go away and come back. And I would say come back even stronger. The fan base is that, that especially Nelk has is very, very true. And they really do, they really do have a grasp on their, their base and the people who follow them and, and support them, which is really incredible to see. I mean, I didn't think I'd see a, a, a prank channel have that much, I mean, the word is clout, isn't it? But yeah, that, that type of shenanigans. But it is interesting and fun. And it's cool to see this, uh, <clears throat> I said a, a renaissance, didn't I? A resurgence on YouTube for pranks. So anyway, guys, that was just me a bit uh, off, uh, off, off, off topic, just spewing nonsense what I do on a daily basis. Come back tomorrow, make a video every day, bro. Don't have that Disney Channel flow, but I do make it every day. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then Steve will do it. Will come and, yeah, I said he will eat you. He will literally come and eat you. The man is a nutter. You don't want that, you already know, so just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been a ranger of the comic. You've been great. I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.